pipes away, so I'm yeah. not really sure where the front is at the well, moment. Well, it's out there somewhere. <laughs> you'll know because you'll, know you'll feel a thump when you hit something yeah, in front. It. Well done, lads. That's all right, isn't it? Yeah, that was all right. So you like the way that drives on the road? What's that, Mick? Very nice, yeah, very nice. It's all right, isn't it? I mean, although it's a big old bus, it don't feel that big when you're actually driving it and on the road, does it? No, no, it doesn't. It drives very much like a car. And you like the amount of space as well? Sure, yeah, got to have the space. Good. Mm. Well, down at my place, I like to give you the good news and the bad news thrown in any car, especially one of these Peugeots or that Citroen C8. I'm going to tell you the stuff the salesman would never tell you. First of which is the front suspension ball joints on the Citroen and the Peugeot, they wear. Not that that's a problem in itself, it's just that they've run out of replacement parts and you'd struggle to find some. Right. Also, you know those electric sliding rear doors? Yeah. Well, they sometimes go wrong and they can stick, yeah. and that's a real problem. That costs you a few hundred quid to put right. How do you feel about it now? We have to wait and see, I think. OK, well, look, I've given you a little bit to think about. Yeah, so why don't sure. you go and have a look at the next car in the showroom? Well done, fellas. Well, it all seems to be going very, very well at the moment, and I'm going to give them the options of going to see a much cheaper car, a car that could save a £1,000 out of Rick's budget. It's that little Kia Sedona. wonder how Red's getting on in the workshop. You and I both know that when you go to buy a car, you want to take it for a drive, or at least hear it run, and this Porsche isn't going to go anywhere without a battery. Now just pop this new battery from our parts department into the hole and hopefully our car should run like a dream. OK, so here's a moment of truth. Let's see if this baby runs. Well, it's been a while, obviously, since it last ran, but it sounds really very sweet indeed, so that's lovely. Now, while I'm in here, the interior is really quite tidy, but two things that are really letting it down are the gear knob and the steering wheel. Look at all that horrible, flaccid kind of leather there. I need to sort that out. I've actually managed to get one of these quite easily. It's going to be delivered a bit later on. The steering wheel has been a bit of a problem. Basically, they're really expensive and very hard to get hold of. And I had this mad idea. I'm thinking, why couldn't a saddler fix this leather? And luckily, because it hasn't got an airbag in it, I can remove the steering wheel safely, <laughs> reasonably easily. And I've got this chap in called Mike, who's actually a saddler, and he's going to repair it for me. Just pop that off. And there we have it. All right, Mike, I've got the steering wheel out. It's getting very confusing today. There's Mike the saddler, Mike with the Porsche, and, of course, Mr Brewer himself. Now, you're a master saddler. Is this something you can help us out with? Yeah, there's no problem, Ed. What we've got to do is get rid of all the old thread and restitch it. Well, I've got loads to do on the Porsche. Okay. I'll crack on with that and leave you to it. Fine, thanks very much. Cool. So, while Ed's leather expert gets cracking, I'm also about to get Rick Buckler and his mate Russell behind the wheel of this vast machine. Kia's bargain price Sedona MPV. Right then, lads, I know you like the Peugeot out on the road, but this is a car that I think you should spend some time looking at. It's the cheapest car in the showroom. It's only £12,000. It's called a Kia Sedona, a name you're not probably familiar with, but they've got a big dealer network in the UK. This particular car is less than a year old and it's done 8,000 miles, so it's really, really good value for money. What do you reckon? Yeah, I really like it. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, we should take it on the road. Well, that's what we should do. Take it for a test drive. Yeah, yeah. Let's jump in. I think it's got loads of character. I think it looks good on the outside. Good engines as well. You've got a two and a half litre petrol V6 engine, or this one is the 2.9 turbo diesel, so a much bigger turbo diesel engine, so much more gruntier and smoother. And you'll be pleased to know it's actually 20% bigger than that Peugeot or that Citroen in the back. It it as well. It still feels like pretty much the same size. I mean, I, I wouldn't notice that there was any bigger space in the back. Yeah. I think it's a nicer all-round motor than the other one. What about the name, like Kia? Said, Does that not worry you, being that, you know, it's not a name that we're all familiar with? No, not really, no. We're looking for, for a vehicle which is, you know, it's going to suit the purpose. Yeah. Um, I, I don't really think that um, the name thing really would enter into it. Right, wouldn't bother you. These cars start at 15 grand brand new. So they're really, really cheap to begin with. And as you know, this car's not even a year old yet. And it's a bargain, you know, 11 double nine five. Well done, Rick. Nicely driven, straight back into the showroom. Thanks very much. Very, very good. Not a bad old test drive, that, is it? <coughs> I love them side opening rear doors. Yeah, they're nice. They're good, aren't they? Yeah, All likely. helps when you're getting the kit in and out. So, yep. coming in, lads, what do you think of that Kia? I liked it. I like it a lot. Yeah, driving. very nice. Yeah. yeah, easy to drive, easy to get used to. And obviously it's got a lot more space, which we need for the kit and stuff. It is a good old car for you. It ticks all the right boxes. But 
as you know, I like to tell you the stuff that salesmen never tell you. So I'm going to tell you that the Kia Sedona, like every other machine out there, it does go wrong. The biggest fault that they've got these cars is that the power steering pump does fail and it leaks. Uh, and if that ever happens, it'll cost you 300 quid to put right. But the good news is, because they've got such a good warranty package, and this one still got over two years left of its warranty to run, the other problems are just small little niggly problems, and you can get them done for free under warranty. Mm. So how do you feel about it now? Yeah. Well, I'm well, still undecided, really, I suppose. But, uh, you know, it, it, the, the price probably will make a difference, I should think. At the end of the day, I've given you two guys plenty to talk about. Don't come to a decision on what car you want just yet. I think we'll take some time right. out, have a nice cup of tea, and we'll discuss it, and we'll find out what car you want in a minute, yeah? Right. Okay. Cool. So while the guys go off to chill out, it's time to see whether you could spot a lemon, as I play the role of dodgy dealer. Now, this car would never get floor space in my showroom. Why? Because it's a stolen motor. But every year, thousands of punters get their fingers well and truly burned. Paul here reckons he knows a thing or two about cars. The thing is, can he spot the lemon in this particular motor? Time to find out. What do you reckon, then, Paul? Yeah, it's a nice-looking car. It's good, isn't it? It's got a few scrapes and... Well, of course it has. It's an old motor. They've all got a few scrapes on them. 